Hello guys, welcome back. So far we worked on features like managing user sessions, updating user details, working with work experience and connection between users. And we also saw how to customize the device views for registrations, sessions and how to add confirmable module to existing users. And for few coming lectures, I want to pause further feature development as this time I feel this is enough to start writing test coverage for our project and we will use our spec for writing test coverage i mean we will write uh, test coverage for all the features that we developed so far okay and we will write test for everything like specs for models controllers requests feature specs using capybara okay and this part of the bootcamp will help you in learning test driven development in rails and this is very important to have coverage for your code base so enough talking let's start setting up the test environment so open the project directory in some text editor and go to the gem file so open the project directory and then open the gem file okay and in the gem file we need to set up some gems like our spec and the factory board gem okay so here you can see that we have a group development and test so make sure you add your r spec gem and factory board rails gem here okay because if you do this in the simple test develop uh, test group then whenever you generate a new model it will not create the r spec model files or r spec factory files okay you have to create it manually okay so let's do this in development gem so first we will add let's say factory board rails factory board rails okay and then add the gem r spec so gem r spec rails okay and add it to the latest version that is 6.0.0 .0. okay and then save the gem file okay and here you can see that in the group test we already have capybara selenium web drivers and web driver gem and you got all the gem when you generate your rails application first time okay so we do not need to add this gem manually okay so now let's uh, save the gem file and go to the terminal and run the bundle install okay so open the new terminal tab and run here bundle install okay this will add the factory board gem and r spec gem into your gem file i mean into your project okay now after installing the bundle i mean adding the r spec gem we need to generate the spec directory in our project so you need to run the command rails g r spec install and when you run this command you will see that it has created a new directory that is spec in your project directory and you can see this in your project here you can see that this is the spec directory which is generated by the command that we created this is the rails helper and this is the spec helper okay and now as the next step we need to configure the factory board gem in our project so we need to create a new directory in the spec and then we need to create a new file into that so first go to the spec directory and create a new directory here and name it as support okay and in the support directory we need to create a new file that is factory board.rb okay so save this file as factory board.rb okay and now we need to write some configuration in this factory board.file so what we need to do r spec dot configure and then do config at the end of file line and then config dot include and here factory board syntax methods this configuration is required because whenever you generate a new model or whenever you generate a spec for model then it will automatically generate the factory file for that particular model class okay and save the file now open the rails helper.rb okay so here you can see in the spec directory so now open the rails 
uh, helper.rb and uncomment this line here you can see at the line number 23 dirrails.root.join because without this our factory board configuration will not take effect okay and that's all for setting up the r spec and factory board jam in our project now we need to do some configuration in the rails helper.rb for capybara okay we need to do this because we will start writing test coverage from feature spec okay and this setup is required to work with capybara spec okay so oh, go to the rails helper.rb and come to the top of the file and here you can see that there is a line require spec helper so after this line what you need to do require and then capybara r spec capybara slash r spec okay and then you need to use selenium web driver so require selenium slash web driver okay save it and now as the next thing we need to make some configuration within the r spec configuration block i mean into the bottom of the file you can see that we have here r spec dot configure so here what we need to do that we need to do some capybara configuration here so let's write capybara dot register register driver chrome okay if you want to use chromium or firefox driver then you can uh, change your settings accordingly okay but for now i am using a chrome driver to automate my test so i am registering capybara dot register driver as chrome okay and then do app and then here you need to use capybara selenium driver dot new our app object and then browser is chrome okay and then you need to do the next setting as capybara dot javascript driver and it is also chrome and then capybara dot default driver it is also chrome okay make sure to do this setting as necessary because without this setting you will not be able to see your feature spec in the browser okay so after having the settings you can automate your feature specs okay now as the last setup we need to add some configs for device controllers because to test the sign in user and managing their sessions this setup is required otherwise you will get errors on the device related specs okay so on the top of this capybara configuration what we can do we just need to do config dot include config dot include and here device test and then controller helpers controller helpers okay and then type controller okay this is if you write controller specs for your device okay and then you need to do the same thing for request specs as well but the, for the request you need to change your controller helpers to integration helper okay and then change the type to request and save the config file i mean this rails helper file and that's all from this lecture now in the next lecture we will write our first spec and that will be a feature spec meanwhile try this lecture at your end and set up the test environment and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe